Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, The Math Pad, and today we're going to do some advanced questions for the 3D Pythagoras. So if you look at the first question, it says we have this cuboid A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. A, B is 4 centimeters, B, C is 3 centimeters, and A, G is 12 centimeters. We have to calculate the angle that A, G makes with the base A, B, C, D. So if we connect AC, you can see that we have this right angle triangle with the right angle being at C, and this is the angle that we're trying to calculate. Call this theta. So we have the length of AG, but we don't have G or AG. However, we can find AC using Pythagoras because we have AB. And ABC also right hand side. So if you do A C square equals to four square plus three square, which is sixteen plus nine twenty five, take the square root on both sides, and AC is five centimeters. So now that we have two lengths for this right angle triangle, we can find the missing one. I think uh, we don't need to find that. Yeah. We our goal is to find angle A. So we can use so that word find angle of A, which is labeled as theta. So as we have the hypotenuse and the adjacent, we can do cosine. So cos theta equals to 5 over 12. Theta equals to cos inverse of 5 over 12. Plug this to the calculator. And we get 65.4. That is the angle that AG makes with the base ABC. Now, if we move on to the next question, the next question is asking us to calculate the angle between the line CE and the base. So let's first connect E with A to have our complete right angle. And we have to calculate the angle over here. So, this is pretty much similar to the previous question, actually. We begin with finding the length AE using Pythagoras because we have EB and AB. So, AE square equals 12 square plus 5 square. A square equals 24 plus 25. A square is square root of A is 13 This is 13. Once again, we have two lens and we can easily apply so far to all the calculate the angle. So, keeping in mind so far to all, we can see that in the arc right angle triangle that we're using, find the value of theta. We have the adjacent and the opposite, which means we'll use tangent. So tan theta equals to 6 over 3. Theta equals to tan inverse of 6 over 3. Plug this the calculator, and what we'll have is 24.8. If we move on to the next question, question three, we have another triangular prism, and the first part is asking us to find the length of DP. Yeah. 
So if you find the length of DP, and DP is this diagonal here. So for part A, once again, the steps are exactly we find the length of db first using Pythagoras. So db squared equals to 10 square plus pi square, which is 100 plus 25. 125, take the square root on both sides. And that gives us 11.2 centimeters. Now, in this case, you're asking us to find the length, not the angle that the diagonal DP is making the base. So that means we apply Pythagoras again. So this time it's going to be DP square equals to 11.2 square plus 6 square. So 11.2 square will give us 126 125 plus 36 will give us 121. So square root of 161 is 12 point. Seven centimeters. That is the length of DP. Part B is saying the angle DP, the angle between DP and the horizontal rectangle is. So, very similar to the previous question. You're asking to find the angle that the diagonal makes the base. So, what we're going to do is we are going to apply tangent in this case. Why tangent? Because we have opposite equals tan theta equals to 6, uh, 6 over 11.2. Theta equals to tan inverse of 6 divided by 11.2. And log this in the calculator. That gives us 28.2. Then we move to question number four. So question number four, we have a triangular prism again, and they're saying that A, B, C, D, B, E, F, C, and A, E, F, C are all rectangles. A, B, C, D is horizontal. B E X E is vertical and A E F E represents the hill side. A F is a part of the hill side, which is this diagonal shown on the hill side. And A D is 800 meters, B e is 600 meters, C F is 200 meters. Part A asks us to calculate the angle of the part A F makes with the base, which is A B. Same steps. We connect A and C to make our right triangle. We find AC first, the Pythagoras. AC squared equals to 800 square plus 600 square, which is 6400 plus 6600. Add it up. So that's going to be. A thousand. Take the square root of hundred thousand, and let's see what that equals to. So square root of hundred thousand is three hundred and sixteen point two centimeters. Okay, that's 10. 
So now we find the length of AF. So Pythagoras on A, AF square is 100 square plus 200 square. Plus forty thousand added up fifty thousand squared it on both sides. So Two hundred and twenty three point six meters. That is your answer. For e. Part B is saying in the diagram D is due south of C. Yeah. Jasmine walks down the path from F to A in bad weather. She cannot see the path ahead. The compass bearing she uh, must use is the bearing of A from C. Calculate this bearing. Bearing of A from C. of A from C. So what I'm going to do is that means I need to calculate this angle. You can easily calculate this angle using tan theta and I do 800 Theta equals to tan inverse of 800 over 600. So I'm going to plug this in the calculator. That's 53.1. <clears throat> and for the bearing, since the bearing is always measured from the north, when we start from the north, we're adding this 180 because we're covering the first quadrant and the second quadrant. That adds up to a 180. So we add the 180 to 3.1. And that gives you 233.18 as the reading of A. If you have any questions or confusions regarding any of these, just let me know in the comments below and answer them.